I've just been doing a wee spot of bacon and it's smelling pretty good. In writing terms, a cake is concrete. Some of mine taste like concrete. But we say a cake is concrete because it's something that we can experience with our senses. You can see a cake, you can taste it, smell it, you can hear it if you throw it against the wall. So when Marcel Proust the narrator bites into a Madeleine cake, that's concrete description. Concrete descriptions then are sensory descriptions. It's all this stuff that we can touch, see, smell, hear and taste. And the other type of description is abstract description. Abstract descriptions have no weight or texture. They're ideas, conditions, qualities, abstractions that float around in the ether. Now if I write that love is beautiful, it is a perfect union of souls, then that's abstract description because we can't touch the perfect union of souls. We can't smell love. Now abstract descriptions have their place, but only if they're used sparingly. The vast majority of your descriptions should be concrete descriptions. Consider this from uh, Tim O'Brien, for instance. He writes, they carried M14s and Car 15s and Swedish Ks and grease guns and captured AK-47s and Chicons and RPGs and Simonoff carbines and black market Uzis and .38 caliber Smith & Wesson handguns and 66mm LEWs and shotguns and silencers and blackjacks and bayonets and C4 plastic explosives. They carried sternal safety pins, trip flares, signal flares, spools of wire razor blades. Taken turns, they carried the big PRC-77 scrambler radio which weighed 30 pounds with its battery. And that's all concrete description. An AK-47 is concrete. You can see it. You can feel it. You can bang yourself on the head with it. Pull yourself up the bum. Do what you want with it. But when Tim O'Brien writes, they shared the weight of memory, they carried the sky, that's the icing on the cake. It's an abstract description because memory isn't something that you can really weigh. It's not something that you can carry in the way you can carry an AK-47. But the description works because it's surrounded by masses of concrete description. So abstract description should be like the icing on the cake. A wee bit is sometimes nice, but what nobody wants is a cake that's got more icing than actual cake. See, this cake with lots of concrete description and a wee bit of abstract description, see, I can handle that cake. But this cake with a lot of abstract description and just a wee bit of concrete description, Oh no, that cake makes me sick. Thanks for watching and good luck with your bacon.